Today we are talking about reciprocating a pump. Reciprocating a pump is considered the most common HPLC pump these days. The reciprocating the pump consists of mainly two parts, the head part and the body part. The head part contains a piston or a plunger. This piston or a plunger is moved under the control of a rotor. This piston is responsible for pushing the mobile phase into the colon. The second part, the body. The body consists of a cylinder and a chamber. The third chamber is filled with the mobile phase and is equipped with two check valve, an inlet valve and outlet valve which controls the movement of the mobile phase into the colon. The reciprocating pump mechanism consists of two steps or two strokes. The filled stroke where the body is filled with the mobile phase and the delivery stroke where the piston push the mobile phase into the colon. The fill stroke starts with withdrawing the piston out of the chamber by the rotor, releasing the pressure on the inlet valve which open allowing the mobile phase to enter into the pump as we can see so the chamber of the pump is filled now with the mobile phase at the same time the outlet valve is closed The delivery stroke starts with pushing the piston into the chamber which will close the inlet valve preventing more mobile phase to enter the chamber and opening the outlet valve to push the mobile phase into the colon. The huge problem with reciprocating pumps with a single piston is that it spend half its time in the filling stroke and the other half in the delivering stroke and this will have large pulse in the flow of the mobile phase into the colon which is not desirable of course to overcome the problem of pulse flow in single piston reciprocating pumps Dual piston pumps were invented. These pumps are present in two main designs. The first one is a parallel pump design. In this design, the two pistons are operating in one 80 degrees out of phase shape. As we can see, when the left piston is in its filling stroke, the right one is in its delivering stroke which is pushing the mobile phase into the colon and when this piston is in its filling stroke the other piston will deliver the mobile phase into the colon and this will ensure a continuous flow of the mobile phase the second design in dual piston pumps is series pump designs in this design one of the pumps has double the volume of the second one so when the first pump is delivering its mobile phase, half of that mobile phase is directly pushed into the column, while the other half is delivered into the second pump. So, when the first pump is filling, the second one will push its mobile phase into the column, and this will ensure a continuous flow of the mobile phase into the column.